Hey there guys, welcome back to Clumsy Danny, and welcome today to a video which is a complete guide to the Archon's Forge inside of Rise of Iron, the newest DLC for Destiny. In this video, I'm going to be giving you all of the information that you need to beat the Archon's Forge, as well as get some of the sweet loot that it can reward you. Just a reminder that if you find this video useful, please do leave a like on it and do subscribe for more daily Destiny content, but we'll get straight in. So, where is the Archon's Forge? Well, it is directly underneath the Archon's Keep area of the Plaguelands. You can get there by going into the Archon's Keep in Patrol and going inside of the Archon's Keep and it'll take you up a staircase and that'll take you straight to the Archon's Forge. So how does the Archon's Forge work? Well basically, to start an encounter, somebody needs to present a Siva offering. Now there are three different levels of offering and there are five different enemy types within those offering levels. So we'll start first with the levels of offering. They are fused offerings, which are 320 light level recommended, enhanced offerings, which are 340 light level recommended, and perfected offerings, which are 360 light level recommended. In your inventory, fused offerings appear green, Enhanced offerings appear blue, and perfected offerings appear purple, as if they are legendary. If you read the flavour text on an offering you have collected, it will tell you what kind of enemy you will be up against. And this will either be the dregs, the vandals, the servitors, the shanks, or the captains. There is a specific offering for each kind of enemy. If you add all of these together, that means there will be a total of 15 different sieve offerings that there are to collect in Rise of Iron. After a receiver offering has been presented, enemies will begin to pour in from nine different doors, with there always being at least one of the enemies specified in the offering in each of the groups that come from these doors. At the top left of your screen, you'll see a counter which says enemy squads defeated. When this reaches 100%, the final boss will spawn, which you need to kill to finish the encounter. At 50 seconds into the encounter, so with 4 minutes and 10 seconds left on the remaining clock, there will be an alarm sound, and a message will appear on the bottom left of the screen saying, your worth will be tested. About 5 seconds later, one of the two side domes will open and there will be a Siva node inside. If you destroy the Siva node quick enough, then the message, impressive, will appear in the bottom left and then the other side dome will open and it will have up to three flaming axes inside. These axes make short work of the enemies and if you are playing a fused or enhanced encounter, then these axes will kill the boss with one hit. If you are playing a perfected encounter on the other hand, then the boss will have a lot more health. In this case, it is far better to use the small axe attack four times, followed by one large attack to maximise damage, and if your ammo gets low, then use some more small attacks to restock the ammo. If you die during an Archon's Forge encounter, then you should wait until you're revived by another one of the players, because if you don't wait and you just respawn, you'll spawn at the top of the forge blocked out from rejoining the fight. If this happens and you have a splicer key on your character, you can use the terminal next to the door to reopen the forge to rejoin the encounter. In terms of rewards, at the time of making this video, the Archon's Forge mainly drops class items at the end of encounters, however legendary and rare engrams and weapons and armour are also quite common. Since the patch earlier tonight, there is also a higher chance now of getting another Siva offering at the end of an encounter, so you can chain those Siva offerings to get more playtime out of the Archon's Forge. If you are above 340 light level, then you shouldn't have any problem soloing a fused offering. If you are above 360 light level, you shouldn't have any problem soloing an enhanced offering, but I would definitely recommend a group of at least two people for the perfected offerings. Bearing in mind that if you are soloing an offering and you die, the event will cancel because there are no players left alive in the forge, no matter how quickly you get to the splicer key terminal. If you're having problems finding an instance with other players, then I recommend to crouch walk up the stairs to give the game more time to find you an instance. Also, you could run down into the warrens, kill some enemies, then walk back up for another way to get into an instance. If you are put into an in-progress instance while walking up the stairs, you will need to use a splicer key to open the door, whereas if you come up from the warrens, you do not need to use a key to enter the forge. If you guys wish to hear my tactics for Archon's Forge, then please leave a comment and I may make a video with my recommended ways to beat all of the encounters as easy as possible. But that is it for this video. If you've enjoyed it, please do leave a like on it and do subscribe for more daily Destiny content. If you want more information, please do let me know down in the comment section below. But for now, I've been Clumsy Danny. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.